Hello and welcome to another AutoCAD 2007 3D um, CAD clip. I should point out uh, in this series of our 2007 3D lessons, we're um, not going into a, uh, a lot of detail about the UCS command or the UCSI command, um, icon command, I should say, and some other things that um, we already have lessons for in AutoCAD 2006 that really haven't changed so I encourage you to maybe go to cadclips.com and have a look at the AutoCAD 2006 3D um, videos and get some more information outside of this series that we're creating here for the 2007. So just a couple of um, UCS tips. First thing I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to get my view toolbar. I'm going to right click, I'm going to get my UCS toolbar and my UCS 2. And what the UCS is, is really think of the UCS as your drawing plane. As you move around, um, you can you have the ability to, you know, it's like having a set square in your hand on in what you're drawing um, so that um, you can use that. Now some interesting tools, first of all, um, you can name UCSs. So if you get your cursor or your crosshairs rotated to the right angle on something, you can save that and say, you know, um, a new um, right click in here, sorry, uh, orthographic and named UCSs. I want to go details. I'm just trying to create um, I'm going to come back to that one specifically, um, but you have your different UCSs that you've got inside of here, and then you've got the named ones, and you've got your UCS command, and, and again, I, re I encourage you to go have a look at our other videos. Now, one thing of note, in our views um, toolbar, I'm going to go to a, a 3D view here. And then I'm going to put myself in perspective because I like to because it's kind of fun and I'm going to maybe turn my grid on and I'm going to draw some shapes some objects inside of here so I can go in and you know draw some objects and change that to be whatever display I want and as I'm drawing for instance if I look from say notice where my X and Y is right now on the bottom okay if I draw a circle right now you know I'm drawing down inside of here well, if I want to maybe, you know, draw something on the side or something, when I change to be here, to change my view to be top, right, left, etc., it actually changes my UCS while I do it. And that can help clarify some confusion. Watch how my X, Y, and Z are here. Now, if I go to the right-hand side and I look, I can see that object like this, and I don't have to be perspective. I can be just straight on. Okay. Notice how my X and Y are now pointing at this surface, and especially with my dynamic UCS, of course, alleviates a lot of our problems. But watch what happens if I go, here's my X and Y. Now if I go back to my 3D view, okay, my X and Y stayed up, as you can see, um, pointing up on that surface. Okay. Now watch what happens. I'm going to go to, to a front view looking at this side over here, the narrower side. I'll look from the front, okay, and now notice my X and Y are pointing towards the front. I can draw, etc. If I go back to my 3D view, notice my X and Y with my Z coming off of that. And my point, notice the grid too as well, okay. The grid will also be a giveaway. So my point being is as you change between your different views, these ones here, the, di the isometric ones, don't do anything to your UCS, okay. But these ones will. So the other thing is, is you want to be able to just set your UCS back to be world. And I'm going to look up here and I think there is, there it is. If, watch what happens. Bink, I hit this button and it sets, it is a macro that says UCS world. Okay. And there's a bunch more in here. UCS previous, which is like an undo. Okay. UCS previous goes to the previous one. We can rotate about an X, Y, and Z axis. And that's all in our other videos. Okay, and then we've got this one where we can go and, you know, we can actually say, okay, move my UCS to be front. Now it's my XY is facing, you know, the front, which is over here with my Z coming off of it. If I say make it be the left, now my X and Y is, you know, on the left with the Z going this way. And if I go to the right, now my X and Y is on the 
backside more or less with the Z coming off and then back to world so when you're drawing that's what you'll want to do is you'll want maybe want to go in and say you know I want to be X Y left and then when you go in and draw a circle of course now you're drawing a circle this way okay if I go back to world and I draw a circle I'm gonna draw a circle this way if I go to the front and I draw a circle I'm gonna draw my circle this way okay and then you can tie that with an end point at the same time and then you'll know you're right on that surface all little things to do with your using your UCS command okay the other thing is I can say um, I'm gonna rotate about my X axis by 45 watch I'm gonna go up to here I'm gonna pick my X button and I'm gonna rotate by minus 45 in fact the other way okay now I'm kind of skewed that way okay and then if I draw a circle okay it's going to be kind of on an angle like that okay type of thing now now I want to save that so I can say UCS and then S for save and then I can call this you know 45 doesn't matter okay now when I go into my name views I'm gonna see that 45 and I can say set current and hit OK so you can save them now I can say okay well make it make my UCS be you know top or bottom okay notice the UCS icon changing okay doing a regen maybe turn my grid off and on there I need to refresh my grid okay back to world okay type of deal now if I want to use that UCS again I can go back and say oh 45 now I can draw another circle or rectangle or whatever I want and I'm going to be on that same angle that I'm drawing on and you can do that with of course your dynamic UCS all at the same time so that clarifies how that now I was hoping I could save it in here but I'm looking for a save button and I don't see it okay settings probably have a look inside of this okay read up on a little bit you can always hit help here and it'll go into the help menu only about the UCS command the other UCS command that I always used uh, when I was beginning I thought was quite good is the 3.1 which is right here three point what you do in this case is you give an, a, an origin an X and a Y positive and it'll it'll help you so watch what happens I'll turn my grid off here I want to be maybe on that face I can go three point and I read it says origin end point here positive X over here positive Y up there and bang oh now I can draw right on that surface and if I draw a circle okay with or without my dynamic UCS I can be on there now I'm going to use my three point again origin is here positive X is here positive Y is there and now I can draw on that surface by going in and you know drawing something on there now again with my dynamic UCS it really helps that but if that isn't turned on okay we can do that same thing one more time maybe I want to be on the plane of of this uh, drafting board that I've drawn here okay three point pot zero positive X positive Y and then now I can go ahead draw a circle I know I'm exactly on that plane right there okay so some different options okay as as I uh, indicated earlier back um, on the internet at cadclips.com here on the left hand side you can see there's all kinds of more AutoCAD clips in here AutoCAD 2006 level 2 if you click on there on the 3d one I should say level 2 3d there's another 10 lessons in here on UCS UCS toolbars overview some really good lessons you should probably go grab these as well um, amongst other free lessons AutoCAD 2006 dynamic blocks more CAD clips uh, AutoCAD level 2 AutoCAD new features for 2004 2005 so we've got AutoCAD level 1 we've got level 2 dynamic blocks okay everything in here is 17 clips of level one so have a look um, at the cadclips.com for some more free AutoCAD lessons and depending on how you located uh, this this video in the beginning you can also go to the um, my AutoCAD blog here and keep up to date because we're always going to have 
lots of information on here at uh, learnautocad.blogspot.com and then go down in here and of course this is might even be where you got these videos from and we'll be adding another one another 10 or so onto the bottom of this um, of this blog